All righty, all righty, all righty, all righty. Tuesday morning as we begin this and gotta hit lows. First thing smoking, we need one stick of baseboard. We need two one by fours. We need a universal shower handle. I say that very sarcastically. I'll get to that in a moment. We need a coping saw. I really want a coping saw. Um, and I think like that's it. So a couple of things as we begin this. First, that fucking T valve that I've been trying to use for the sink. I keep getting these wrong pieces and it's just not working. Well, I find the right piece off of Amazon. What are you doing? Um, I found the right piece off of Amazon. That'll be here today. Also here today will be the belt for the zero turn. God, I hope it's the right one. Um, it's the right part number, but it's called a, a pump belt. So God only knows. And they don't got no good pictures of it to show like, is it big? Is it small? It's got to be the right belt. It's the right part number. So there's that. Uh, I was mentioning quite a bit getting materials for roofing today. Probably not going to happen. Probably going to wait till tomorrow. We've got inclement weather coming in this evening. A lot of storms, hail, all sorts of shit. So we'll probably just wait till tomorrow. That way we can get even further with the shit that we're trying to do in the house. And we got just quite a bit of like honeydew type of shit to do in the house. A lot of odds and ends. Speaking of the shower handle, you know, they don't never make nothing easy. Um, you would imagine you want to swap out the hardware on your, your, your tub. It's called your shower trim kit is what it's called. You can't just take the handle off that's there and put a new handle on it. Rarely does that work. They've got different valves slash diverters which is, you know, what pumps all your water in and sends it to your shower or your spigot. You're hot and you're cold. Um, Matt seemed to have thought that the where the diverter was, there was a hot water heater right there. Because he was like, I didn't know there were two lines there. He must have thought there was a hot water heater right there. There's not. There's a diverter. So in order to change out your fucking shower handle... No bullshit. If you're not taking your tub out completely, the only way that you can do it is to cut a hole behind your tub, cut out the old diverter, put the new diverter in that supports the handle that you're trying to put on there and, you know, the whole trim kit. Supposedly, they've got a universal handle. I'll believe it when I see it. We're going to go look at it. I know what the, the hardware or the trim kit, I mean, I know what the valve diverter looks like that's there. If it doesn't look like it's going to be supported uh, by what we've already got there. Oh, man, that was a cat. Damn. Um, we're going to be cutting a hole behind the shower. I mean, it's just as simple as that. There's not much we can do with that. And also, you know, you would think they would make shit easier, right? Well, they don't. So even with this universal handle, just the fucking handle is like 50 bucks. But if you don't want to cut out the back of your shower, you're going you're gonna to pay. And pay dearly, it seems like. So that's the first thing. That's one of a few things we got to get from Lowe's this morning. Um, also, speaking of the roof job, hopefully we've got this guy that we just met Sunday. I think that we do. I mean, he seems very serious about helping us out with it. But, you know, trying to make that job easier, which that's a, you know, doing a roof, that's not an easy job at all. We've been wanting to get a ladder safety hoist, a ladder vader, ladder lift, ladder lift for shingles, whatever you call this damn thing. We've been trying to find one to rent one, and the closest that I found one is 120 miles away. I have looked everywhere. Sunbelt, United, Low, I mean, Home Depot, they sell them anywhere between $1,500 and $3,000 plus dollars. Amazon sells them. So we might be toting motherfucking shingles. That's just the way it's looking right this second. But that's all for right this second. We're getting the day underway. We're going to get a lot of base done. We're going to figure out what's going on with those showers today. 
see if we can do anything with that. If this does work, this universal knob, we're gonna be spray painting all of the hardware that's already in there. We can get another shower head, that's no big deal. Spray painting the spigot, spray painting the, uh, the escutcheon plate is what that's called, the plate behind your, your, uh, your handle, escutcheon plate. Actually, this universal one comes with another one of those. So, I'm not convinced that we're, this universal one's going to work, but we'll see. Let's get the lows, get the materials we need, get on the road, get over to the flip, and make the most out of this day. We're going to put in a whole day today. Ain't no, no more half days. At least, not today. Tomorrow will be, because, well, tomorrow's going to be fucking Groundhog's Day, like last Wednesday. Doctor's appointment. Working on the zero turn, going out to the landscape, maybe. All right, let's hit Lowe's and get the show on the road. All right, it is 9, 10 in the morning. Been over here for probably about 10, 15 minutes right now. Damon's getting a coat of paint on the baseboard and my little toe kickboard for uh, the kitchen. And I'm in the bathroom working with this universal uh, lever handle, right? And I got good news and I got bad news uh, in relation to this. So let me put you guys somewhere so you can shoot the shit with me. It's hi there over here at the over here at the tub. And uh, so here's the good news. The good news is it'll work. It will work. This universal kit will work, right? Comes with a Comes with a lot of different ways that you can do this, and that's a great thing. So I was really concerned about this plate that covers like so, and it will cover up everything that we had um, glazed. So that's good. You won't see any signs of anything crazy there, I don't think. I don't think. I haven't gotten the screws in it just yet, but it looks like it's going to work. So that's the good news there. And then this guy's going to slide right over Oh, well, it's supposed to slide right over. I hope that's going to slide right over that. I may have. I, I put that O-ring right there. and Who's that O-ring? Oh, shit, that O-ring. Damn it. All right, well, I can get that O-ring in a minute. But, yeah, so that guy slides over like so. And then this guy works like so. So that's going to be good. And then we can put our, our good handle on here. The good news is what I've shared with you thus far. Damn, check this out. Hey, real quick question. Them uh, one by fours, you want them white or colored cabinets? Colored cabinets. All of this is good so far, except for this guy here. Because of the situation that we have, um, they give you three different options. And these are the little connection pieces that your handle will go into. And it's A, B, or C. For A and B, your damn handle is gonna go on right like so. But we don't got A or B, we got C. So our fucking handle goes on like this. That's that's where our handle sits, right? So that you turn the water on. Um, so that so that so that when you so that so that you know when you turn the water on. There's no way to adjust that thing on the inside. Well, I don't know, because we got a slow leak coming out of here, so I need to figure that out also. How do you stop the slow leak? But the good news is we've gotten this far. Um, anybody who comes in here and looks at this is going to be like, what, what, what a, what a handle, what a handle at three o'clock, huh? What, what, what a handle, why wouldn't the handle, look, it, why wouldn't you just put another little area right here? All you had to do was put another little area right there so I could get my handle right there. Why my handle got to be sitting to the side? Some bitch. So that's where we are right now. Get back with you in a little bit. All right, I don't know if it should be cause for alarm or not. It's probably been about 10 minutes later. And uh, funny story. So when we met dude the other day he was working at a house a couple doors down now to be fair dude's not over there today he's got a blue truck there were a couple of white trucks over there this morning 
literally as soon as we pulled up we watched these two white trucks go over there and they definitely looked like they were getting ready to do some work all of a sudden damon came and said hey man there's a whole lot of smoke rolling out of that house over there uh and then allegedly them dudes hauled ass and now the police are over there so uh not exactly sure what they were working on what they blew up what uh what the smoke was i thought they might have been doing a hot tar roof over there but there, there's no roofing work taking place at all so keep you updated if we we hear anything or find out anything but that's kind of crazy you got some people coming over to a house to do some work and all of a sudden a bunch of uh, a bunch of smoke starts rolling out of that thing and uh they haul ass he must have went with the cheapest quote over there that's what i'm thinking anyways i'm still fighting this faucet set uh not even the handle giving me problems right this second it's the slow drip and trying to fucking figure out how to stop that and there don't really seem to be no good way to do so hypothetically if i was to replace this whole diverter which it could call for uh doing so to stop that slow drip because i don't know how well i'm not i'm kind of at a crossroads so in order to replace the diverter i would have to literally cut through like right right back there and that would just be so fun so so fun but I'm gonna try to avoid that at all cost. Hey there, that's better. All right, uh, sorry, that was kind of strange. Uh, ugh, shit goes down here, I'm kidding, no. Uh, spit goes down here though, and dirty water. We're plumbing right now, folks, but before we get back to plumbing wish i could stick that behind my ear uh show you what we've been doing so we've been bing bong you see that coping just know that shit is not all that impressive all right so uh it's a little windy but that's good because it's kind of hot shout out to damon damon cocked up some major gaps you don't even know boy you talk about a eighth of an inch gap right there between that quarter round just the way that it happened i cut it messed up so everything is done isk uh we do got a little gap right there <laughs> i was watching a, a tiktok video yesterday they were making fun of some tile work uh I'll show you real quick they were making fun of some tile work that looked just like <sighs> yeah and they look just like well just like that just like that right there going around the casing like Joe what the fuck were you thinking yeah yeah they were but the the motto was when in doubt uh something grout oh uh, when in doubt grout it out yeah so we gotta put a little grout down there no biggie uh, I got a caulk right there because we got a little gapage right there but yeah this still has to be painted obviously the wall still got to be painted too but all of the trim in the kitchen is done including hey the back door is trimmed out uh hope it doesn't look too crazy with that baby trim down there and that big ass i don't know three and a half inch casing right there this is the only door that has the big casing but it was it was needed on the, on this door for sure so other than that that took a little bit to get that trimmed out uh still watching paint dry in this area somebody said joe if you don't replace that i will never watch another one of your videos well get ready to unsubscribe that's what i gotta tell you right now because uh well let's let's take a look at that area shall we so you said it was rotted it looks more rotted than it actually is uh it's a lot of water logged, but it's not. Well, maybe it is a little rotted. A little rotted. Oh well. Not 100% sold on if I'm going to replace that or not just yet. Uh, the person who commented that was adamant in believing that I would replace that, but I may not. We'll see. We'll just have to wait on that. But anyways, here's where I'm at. Bing bong. Uh, in the bathroom. 
working on this guy and boy when i tell you hey this joint been a little bit of work right here nice oh shit the water's on and i'm not i'm not plumbed in down here just yet but i will be in a hot second so uh well let me show you a little of what i was up against in here so there's the shelf that goes in there but to be honest every time that we do these houses i always take the shelves out because they usually end up in the way of the p-trap and i know what you're going to say but joe they cut out for the p-trap yeah they do uh in this particular case it makes no fucking help at all because the p-trap comes in from the side and all that good jazz but in order to get that shelf out my god uh where are the pieces at They're over here somewhere so they sit on these little brackets that go into the side right cheer right sheer like so so they sit right there and then they're screwed in from the bottom now mind you that's where that was at but there's this block right here that does not come out because it's glued in and screwed in i took the screws out and it still wouldn't come out and i was like man how in the fuck are you supposed to get that out i broke it out that's how i got it out. i broke that bitch out because i said you know what i ain't playing with this no more so i didn't hurt anything other than the bottom of this guy it got beat up down there a little bit not much right there a little more but man fuck that they make shit so stupid and then if you really want to see some stupid let me show you i'm not stupid what, what? <laughs> yes you are joe okay we're looking up under the sink right so i found this laying in the floor of the sink right or, or, of the cabin i was like what the fuck is this Turns out what this is, is this holds the sink to the, this holds the actual sink in. So you've got a, like a, what do you call it? It's not marble, uh, it's not granite, what's the other word? Well, whatever it is, so you got your quartz uh, countertop. And then you got your, your quartz sink right there. It's probably what it is. Maybe it is. Anyways, the way that they, it's two separate pieces, the sink and the countertop. So you can see that little glue spot right there. It's literally how they do it. They glue that bracket to one piece and then it clips it like it holds. It's, no, there's not a lot of, there's not a whole hell of a lot of uh, surety or security with that, but Anyways, it's a $300 vanity and you pay, you get what you pay for. Let me go ahead and plumb this in real quick. This ain't going to take nothing. So I'm going to put me, I got my little, I got my little adapter who right here. I don't know what you call this shit. I ain't no fucking plumber, but I be, I know how to do it though. So I'm going to put that guy on right there. I'm going to get my little uh, P-trap going right here. And then I got my little adapter gizmo right here. Bing. Yeah, she's going to be good to go. You remember when I did this at Flip 3 and it leaked all over the place? Let's try to avoid that with this one. Give me two minutes. I'll be right back with you. All right, what are the chances, right? What are the chances we got no leaks at all? Hoping for no leaks. All right. If we do have a leak gonna be from right in this area that would be my thinking here or maybe from the top yep from the top there it is from the top from the top wow quite a bit from the top like why from the top <clears throat> that we were good from the top Huh? Thought we had an understanding here. We weren't gonna leak it all. <sighs> it's always that damn fitting, man. I got it jammed up in there too. God damn it. <sighs> Uh. <clears throat> OK, 
okay? No more leaking, it just wasn't tight enough. Good deal. I put it in there the right way. You know I did. I don't like seeing all that water. Water makes me think we got a leak. We had a leak, we don't got a leak no more. Everything's tight. Leave a little piece of cardboard down here in case uh, something does want to start leaking. We'll be able to keep an eye on that. All right, good deal. That sink is in and we are good with that. Get that backsplash on there. And this bathroom is secure. All right, what's next? Right going right into this other bathroom. Take care of that plumbing too. So that's probably where i'm going oh yeah i need to do the trim in that bathroom too i may just work that bathroom get that bathroom as close to completed that's what i'm gonna do do trim in that bathroom and get which in a little bit let's see how it all comes out after it's been trimmed out because uh gotta get this base put back in base quarter round yeah it's gonna be it's gonna be funky let's get it I got no idea how much of that I've filmed or didn't film. Anyways, uh, we're wrapping it up for the day. It's about four o'clock in the afternoon, so that's it. Hope you enjoyed rocking with us, and I look forward to sharing more with you guys tomorrow. Take care.